Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Codexual and today we're going to be talking about Windows 10 telemetries and how to disable um, collecting data such as Microsoft preying on you and it's like, hey, you know what, we want your data. Um, Microsoft defines telemetries as a system data that is uploaded by the connected users experience and telemetry components, also known as Universal Telemetry Client or UTC Service uh, Microsoft uses telemetry data from Windows 10 to identify security and reliability issues, also to analyze and fix software problems to help improve the quality of Windows 10 and related services to make a de design decision uh, for, the for the future releases. Telemetry features aren't unique to Microsoft and there is nothing particularly secret about them. They are part of a larger trend in software industry to collect and analyze uh, event data and a part of um, the whole Windows 10 process and more Windows 10 in the future. So it's not only just including of Microsoft, but Google does it too. Um, and so that's that that's all fine and dandy and everything. But when you're allowing a company to analyze the data, um, uh, like, let's just say your Windows PC crashed. What they do, they'll pull the data. But this is where things get a little bit more interesting is because the, you allow them having access to your computer. And it's also for them having prying eyes on you, such as if you were to search something on uh, Cortana, it will tie that with Bing because they're both Microsoft products. So if you were to type in um, on Cortana, it's like, hey, what is this? Then I was like, oh, this is that, that is this. And so what that does is it pulls it from the database. So if you were to look up how to cook um, food um, or how to cook chicken, it's like, you know, it's fine knowing how to cook chicken. The thing about that is it will start displaying ch like chicken ads to you right or like a chicken recipe or you know you should buy this um kitchen where for your chicken or something of that matter so it just it ties out to that as well and it also collects metadata on you so uh, this is where we want to uh eliminate all that and right here is um my gpu adapter um, telemetry and what it does it sends this information so how do we get here is what you want to do is go towards your um, search go to uh, it's um, diagnostic if I can type correctly Di you want to go to diagnostic and feedback settings so once you click on that then you're gonna scroll down and this is toggled off. So you want to click on a view diagnostic data. You're going to turn on. Then it'll say get or download or whatever uh, the diagnostic data viewer, which I've already done so. So uh, you'll be able to download that from the Windows 10 um, store. So once you have that downloaded, then you'll have all of this here. So you go to your diagnostic data and you'll see what is being sent to um, Microsoft. And this will tell you in this raw form. So if you want to delete that, go ahead and click here. Uh, you can also export the data if you want to. Um, you go back to the previous window and you click on delete. And it will delete everything in your data um, diagnostics data so then how do we stop further telemetry logs to be sent over towards microsoft there's an easy solution and a tool i personally use this tool uh, you don't have to use it but i strongly recommend it it's called the spybot anti-beacon i'll leave a link in the description i've made a video about this before um there's a free application. Hold on, let me close out of this. Uh, close. So it's a free application. If you want to buy the the license for it, then cool. Um, what you can do is click on customize and show what um, allow what services to be running. So if you disable this all, there's some things that won't be um, working on your Windows machine properly. So just keep that in mind. So if then you click apply, then that's basically it. It'll start blocking everything. Essentially what it does, it goes to your host file 
and it will um, get all the domains and services and it will just null it out so that there won't be any connections going out to that server period. So I can just leave this in, um, in a paste bin and uh, you guys can copy and paste and put this on your um, on your host files. So there's that. Um, if you don't want to download this, there's another way to do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the red registries uh, by hitting the Windows key and R, then typing reg edit. Um, let me bring that up here. Reg edit. Hit yes. So you're going to follow this pathway. So you want to go towards your um, H key local machine. Then you're going to go to software and click on software. Then you're going to click on policies. Then you're going to scroll down where it says Microsoft. Then you're going to scroll down where it says Windows. Then um, you're going to click on data collection. So I can leave a pathway here for you. And if this, um, there's two entries that you're going to have to do. It's, it'll either read one with the allow space telemetries or the one with no spaces. So what I did is I just created two keys. What do you want to do is right click, go to new, go to D word, a 32 bit value. Then what you're going to name it is allow telemetry telemetry. And it's the, there's one already exist, so which is completely fine. Then once you're on there, um, put the value data as zero and put the base as hexadecimal. Then click OK. And make sure you do that uh, again with allow space telemetry and a get, and um, one with a allow telemetry with no spaces. Then you'll be good. So I'll go ahead and delete that extra key. That's basically it. So now, if you go back to your um, diagnostic data viewer um, later on in the future, actually, no, that's actually turned off. But um, there shouldn't be any, um, or down to a minimal, there, there shouldn't be any telemetries that are being sending out to, to Google, or if you use the, um, where is it? These um, spy bot, and you collect all those extra services like Google and Mozilla Firefox. There shouldn't be anything that has to be sent out to those services. So I hope that this video was informative. Links will be in the description. Um, this video is not sponsored by SpyBot. This is completely free unless if you choose to um, get the professional version. If you do, uh, you should definitely get the Windows host files, select them all and give us uh, a paste bin link. Just, you know, sharing is caring. <laughs> but you should support SpyBot uh, regardless because they're actually uh, a good company. All right, um, if you guys haven't already, to hit me with a subscribe, uh, like, I do live stream. Uh, so come through on there, uh, on Mixer and Twitch. And we do have a Discord. So links will be in the description as per always. And you guys have a great, great, wonderful day. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.